hope you are doing well today. Let's get start our lesson. Well, today's lesson is Unit 8, Industry and Services, Progress Check. Well, Progress Check. We usually take Progress Check from students to check their knowledge, what they have learned so far. Well, instructions. Here, I will give you some instructions how to do your progress check. Here are contents. So our progress check consists of five contents. They are listening, reading, grammar, vocabulary, and writing. Contour work seven from your book. First one, listening. First step is you listen to the radio report and write what it is about. And it's 20 points. Second one, read and listen to the report again and write down the missing words. You do listening at the same time reading. Let's just listen first, then check your answers. Unit 8. Listening 1. Coca-Cola has opened its fifth bottling plant in Uzbekistan. The new plant, which will specialize in the production of carbonated soft drinks, is Coca-Cola's largest plant in Central Asia. Equipped with the latest technology, it has created more than 160 new jobs for highly skilled specialists. William Casey, president of Coca-Cola Greater Europe Group said, we are convinced that Uzbekistan will continue to make progress in creating support for international investment and we are proud to play a role in the development of the Uzbekistan economy. Yes. You know, when you do your listening, you have to listen them for a couple times because some words are not so clear to hear. So let's just listen one more time. Unit 8. Listening 1. Coca-Cola has opened its fifth bottling plant in Uzbekistan. The new plant, which will specialize in the production of carbonated soft drinks, is Coca-Cola's largest plant in Central Asia. Equipped with the latest technology, it has created more than 160 new jobs for highly skilled specialists. William Casey, president of Coca-Cola Greater Europe Group said, We are convinced that Uzbekistan will continue to make progress in creating support for international investment and we are proud to play a role in the development of the Uzbekistan economy. Okay. Second time is so clear, I guess. I'll give you one right answer, and the rest of the answers you will find yourself, okay? So, Coca-Cola has opened its fifth bottling what? Plant. If you got the right answer, perfect. Thank you. You'll do rest of the listening at home, all right? By yourself, without helping your teachers and parents. Next one, reading. Read an article and write five questions. First you have to read, then make five questions according to the text. And it cost 20 points. So I'll give you one hint. When you make questions, you have to pay attention to most important dates, names, numbers, or the name of the cities, okay? I'll read it once. The most important industrial development in Britain in the past 20 years. So you can take this as a question. 20 years of or so has been the growth of the offshore oil and gas industries, as well as the wide application of new microelectronic technologies in industry and commerce. Although expanding service industries like finance and tourism now represent about 
65% of Britain's national output. So here I'll stop and pay attention to the number here, 65. So you can make it as a question. Manufacturing still plays a wider role in the economy. Britain takes a leading part in high technology industries like chemicals, aerospace, and electronics, where British companies are among the world's biggest and the most successful. Well, grammar. What you are going to do in this part? Of course, you must be very good at some grammar rules. We have already studied some structures, yes, if you remember. So, force, write five sentences about what you have had done at each of these places. For example, tailors, you use this structure when you ask a person for help if you are not able to do it. For example, your car isn't working or it has broken, you ask someone or a repair man to fix it. I had my black suit made at the tailor's. If you don't have a sewing machine and you are not able to do it, of course you ask tailor to do it for yourself. Dentist, you can use dentist service, dry cleaners, hairdressers, photographers, and shoemakers. And make the same sentences as it was given as an example. Five sentences about what you have had done each of these places. And you use this service as a client. 20 points. Vocabulary and writing. I'm sure you all got enough vocabulary relating to industry, business, and economics. Uh, spelling dictation, and it's 10 marks. And a sixth one, make new words with suffixes. You have already given previous lessons a table, uh, suffixes, noun suffixes, or adjective suffixes. Here you can see noun suffixes, er, or, and shun. And you have to make words, whole words, with the help of suffixes er, or, and shun, using these words, produce, import, invest, manufacture, fertilize, and reflect. Okay, I'll give you one hint. First one, produce is a verb and you have to make it as a noun so you add what shin yes you're right and it becomes production and like as an example experter product production and total score is going to be 100 homework so we'll try to do something useful with you in a distance, of course, as we are not in, in the classrooms. So we'll try to do some home task with you. First one, we have already learned this structure. We have had the house painted. You remember? Answer the question and write the sentence. What have they done? So this structure is used for asking for help from somebody. For example, if you are not able to do it, you ask for help. And have or has plus something, instead of something, you put some object. And done. The third form of a verb, if it's a regular verb, you add ed. So, first one, then has something. Something, instead of something, you put an object. Then has his suit made, the third form of a word. Next one, they have an object, something, house. They have their house decorated or redecorated. And you can change 
have and has according to your sentence. If it's in the past, past form. If it's future, so you will the change the verb, will have. Third one, I choose still. So I have, so as you are not a dentist, you go to the dentist and uh, use their service. I have my tooth filled. Fourth one, hair color. As you are not hairdresser or barber, you ask a person to dye your hair. Color is at the same time noun and verb. We'll continue. Alisher photo take. So Alisher has or had his photo taken. So he asked a person to take his photo. Six one. My mother shoes repair. My mother had her shoes repaired. So as she's not a repair man, she asked a person who can do it for herself. Next one, my father car repair. My father had his car repaired. So he as he is not a repair man. We TV repair. So if we are not able to do it, we ask a person who can do it. We had our TV repaired. Lesson two. As you remember, lesson two at the hairdresser, the, the service, hairdresser service. So read and find how much the hairdresser will earn for the day. Read and say what the hairdresser's costs for a day are. Answer the questions. Here you can see price list for washing, cutting for women, for men, blow dry, color, perm, and new style. And appointments for a day, a hairdresser can earn some amount of money. And you calculate by yourself, adding these costs. For example, today she has an appointment with a person, with uh, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Dove, Mrs. White, Vicky T, and last one, Mrs. Pitt. So you calculate how much each service cost and you calculate all the cost and total amount you write down on your notebook, okay? And cost for a day. Of course, you should minus um, some cost for a day. Expenditure. Lesson three, I have broken my hill. So you have broken your hill and you ask a person to repair it for yourself. Write a new sentence. A tailor has made a new suit for Mansur. A tailor, a person who does it for yourself. Mansur has had a new suit made. So Mansur is not a tailor and he as a person who can do it. And her sons have bitten the carpet before the party. So mother asked her sons to do it. So she didn't do it herself. Next one, they have repaired the tape recorder for re Robert. You continue this sentence by yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. Of course, you can ask for help from your teachers or your parents. And next one, hairdresser has done Helen's hair. The dentist has x-rayed my tooth. They have already typed the papers for him. A shoemaker has put on new soles for me. She has cleaned her clothes at the dry cleaner. So you'll continue, of course, by yourself. I hope you can do it. Lesson four, industry in Uzbekistan. Answer the questions. I'm sure you have tons of information about industry in Uzbekistan and re vocabulary relating to industry. And you answer these questions by yourself in written form. First one, what are the main kinds of industry in Uzbekistan? 
and we have already had uh, enough information about what kind of in an industry in Uzbekistan. What does Uzbekistan industry produce? What does Uzbekistan import and export? How do Uzbekistan's products rate on the world market? And what helps the economic growth of the country? Of course, import and export. Are there any joint ventures in Uzbekistan? Well, you have already um, set up your business and had some uh, role plays with your parents or teachers your, or your friends, as you remember. If so, what are their names and what do they produce? You imagine one company. Is Uzbekistan interested in setting up more joint ventures? Why and why not? Please give full sentence with correct data. And at the end of our lesson, I would like you to watch this video to... Let's just watch this video and then I'll explain you what does it mean. watching this video because it, this video gives you very interesting instructions how to do your homework and enjoy it. You know, you don't have to stuck up in one thing. While you are doing your homework, you should take some breaks between your tasks. For example, if you start your science, you can just take a break, have some snacks, uh, have a rest, watching TV or listening to music, and then you can continue the rest of your subject's homework. And you can enjoy as well with the family members, of course. For example, you can ask them questions, they can answer. So this is the way how you can enjoy doing your homework. You don't have to be bored with doing your homework all the time. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.